Hey everyone, Dr. D here, and in this video I just wanted to share with you uh, this incident I had a few years ago when I opened up a couple of cans of Kirkland Signature Organic Diced Tomatoes from Costco. This was a few years ago, like I said, but uh, I opened both cans at the same time to throw in a stew, and the cans were not uh, expired. Uh, they both came from the same, uh, I guess, uh, little box of 12, I believe. I took them out, opened them up to throw into the stew. And when I took a look, uh, I'm glad I did take a look because one of them was definitely off. And uh, I suspected it was botulism, uh, where Clostridium botulinum was growing inside. Here, take a look and tell me what you think. So here are the two cans I had opened at the same time same batch look at the one on the left it is actively bubbling you can see it bubble you can even see it ooze off out the side uh, water droplets are coming off the side or, or you know juice is coming off the side now again i don't know if this was necessarily clostridium botulinum you know botulism per se but i highly suspect it and uh you know i just like most people i don't suspect or, or, or expect that the foods I eat are going to be contaminated with something that could uh, make me seriously ill or kill me. Uh, so I, got, I was very, very lucky that I noticed the problem with these cans. I think it helped that I opened two cans at the same time. You know, with, with, uh, with two cans open at the same time, it's really easy to see that there's an obvious difference between the two. I don't know if I would have really caught it if I had just opened the one bad can. So I got really lucky there. And ever since this experience, I really have been inspecting my canned goods uh, more closely for any bulging or any kind of bubbling or, you know, color that's off as well. So uh, let's just take a look quickly at the cdc.gov website um, and what they say about botulism. So here it says botulism is a rare but serious illness caused by a toxin that attacks the body's nerves. And yes, in case you're wondering, this is Botox. You know, it's the same toxin that causes this uh, a neurological disease, this nervous uh, attacks the nervous system. This is the same stuff they purify and inject into people's faces so that they don't get wrinkles. Yeah, believe it or not. Uh, symptoms of botulism usually start with weakness of the muscles that control the eyes, face, mouth, and throat. This weakness may spread to the neck, arms, torso, and legs. Botulism can also weaken the muscles involved in breathing, which can lead to difficulty breathing and even death. So that's the big danger there. If you ingest enough of this neurotoxin, you could potentially have uh, problems breathing, you know, problems with your diaphragm working correctly, and ultimately this could lead to death. Also, it says here about foodborne botulism can happen by eating foods that have been contaminated with botulinum toxin. Common sources of foodborne botulism are homemade foods that have been made improperly uh, or canned, uh, preserved improperly, fermented improperly. Though uncommon, store-bought foods also can be contaminated with botulinum toxin. Again, I don't know if this was necessarily botulinum toxin. I, I didn't actually take a sample of the bacteria over to the lab and identify the unknown species. However, you know, I had a sneaking suspicion that this was a uh, botulism in action. Uh, now, one thing that stood out to me was that it did not smell off. Uh, the can didn't smell putrefied. It smelled fine, actually. So I would have easily become fooled by this can if I wasn't paying attention because it really did not smell off. And that was very disturbing to me because I could not for the life of me understand how a can that was so obviously off uh, smell just fine. Uh, if anyone knows, actually, if anyone has experience, um, maybe a microbiologist out there who watches, maybe let me know in the comment box below what you think. Like, why would a can like this, which is so obviously off, not smell putrefied? Uh, are there cases of Clostridium botulinum, which um, don't, uh, you know, make some foul odor? Uh, 
you know, I've heard of that before, but I, I, I can't find that citation anywhere. Anyway, uh, I just I just wanted to share this with you. Um, you know, even though we live in an age of uh, the FDA and food safety and pro procedures and protocols, this does not mean that all food is safe. And this does not mean you can get complacent and just, uh, you know, willy nilly consume canned foods, you know, just Take a take a look at something after you open it. Make sure it's not the can is not bulging. Make sure it's not bubbling. Make sure the color is not off, and make sure it doesn't smell bad. All right. So that's my PSA for the day. I'm glad I didn't eat it. I just threw it out. I probably should have kept it and analyzed it and uh, identified the unknown, or I probably should have disposed of it in a better way. But this was a few years ago, and I was tired. I simply threw the can away. Uh, uh, I hope everyone's doing well out there. Let me know if you have any questions or comments in the comment box below, and I will catch you guys next time. Dr. D, Dr. D, Dr. D. Dr. D, Dr. D, Dr. D. A Dr. D, Dr. D, Dr. D. Dr. D, Dr. D, Dr. D. A Dr. D, Dr. D, Dr. D. Dr. D, Dr. D, Dr. D. A Dr. D, Dr. D, Dr. D. Dr. D, Dr. D, Dr. D.